Good morning, everyone. My name is Moses Minchaka, and I'm currently the ASI Student Body President. Welcome to the 103rd Graduation Commencement Ceremony. Today, students from 26 countries will graduate. Their homeland flags are displayed behind me. I started college with many of you, and I'm excited here today as you get to graduate and continue on with your life. But at this time, I ask that you stand to honor America as the Fresno State Air Force ROTC presents the colors. And please remain standing for the singing of the national anthem by graduating music majors Sharon Rogers and Katherine Simmons. Wow, good morning, everybody. Wasn't that just so beautiful? That was a perfect way to start our day today. I wanna welcome all of you to the 103rd commencement of California State University, Fresno. I am Joseph Castro, president of the university. Thank you. 
Many of our graduates out there have something in common with me today. It's our first commencement ceremony here at Fresno State. Thank you. And many of you also have something else in common with me. Sorry about that. Thank you. <laughs> First time. <laughs> Many of you have something else in common with me, being the first in our families to earn college degrees. <laughs> to all of you students, from the bottom of my heart, I am so proud to be sharing in today's festivities with you. So let me welcome all of you who have earned degrees today, as well as alumni and distinguished faculty. But before we go any further, I'd like to ask our graduates to please join me in welcoming your family and friends with a round of applause for supporting you throughout your schooling. I am very grateful for the warm welcome that my family and I have received from students, faculty, and staff on campus since our arrival last August. Shortly thereafter, I challenged our campus community, including our great students, to be bold, to be bold in their thinking, their studies, and their career paths. Today, I reiterate that. If you take one thing away from today's message, as you step off campus and into your chosen career, remember to always be bold. Dream big, think big, and share your new and innovative ideas. Take calculated risks and step outside your comfort zone. Be bold, it's the Bulldog way. I am deeply honored to celebrate this passage of Fresno State's best and brightest from campus into our community. I was privileged to meet a great number of you over the past year on campus, and I hope that you will stay in touch with me and our faculty and staff as you advance in your careers. You've left your mark on our university as a student and we hope that you'll stay engaged with Fresno State as a professional. Together with our thriving alumni base, we can and we will define the future of Fresno State in every way imaginable. Enrollment, new programs, faculty, research, private support, service and engagement with the community. We're updating our classrooms and building exciting new facilities, such as the Jordan Research Center, which will equip Fresno State students with a world-class venue to discover and investigate the most advanced scientific concepts of agriculture, food, and natural resources. We're making necessary investments in academics and athletics so that the university can continue to rise to new heights. And we're on the forefront of bringing technology into the classroom with our new tablet initiative called Discover E. Forty faculty members are ready to implement tablet learning in their daily classroom curricula with this, this fall as we work toward our goal to make tablets readily available to all Fresno State students. As faculty and staff at the university, our number one goal is to see you achieve student success. We hope you have felt a strong level of support and commitment from us in your journey on campus 
and have grown both academically and socially. Our enrollment this year was at an all-time high, with more than 23,000 students on campus last fall. While the university always does its very best to accept as many students from right here in our valley as possible, we also set an all-time record for international students on campus. It's such a special dynamic to see on campus people from different cities and, and countries, different ethnic and socioeconomic backgrounds, all coming together to share the Bulldog spirit and help define our campus by embracing our unique differences. Our campus tagline is discovery, diversity, distinction. We are inspired by alumni who have won Oscars, Emmys, Pulitzer Prizes, and Super Bowls. <laughs> we are motivated by alumni who have launched into outer space with NASA, helped pass legislation on Capitol Hill, and landed a number of leadership positions in business and industry all across the state and country. We are a hub of discovery, performing research that leads to real-world applications every day. Whether it is water technology, cancer research, or the physics team investigating our universe's origin, Fresno State students across the board are getting valuable hands-on experience. We are proud of our alumni and what they have accomplished, and we are anxious to see what's next from all of you. What will your impact be on our society, our state, or our community? All of you sitting on the arena floor today are capable of achieving something that will inspire others. Perhaps your name or your accomplishment will be celebrated by the university in the years to come. For that, we can't wait. Congratulations, graduates. It's a great day to be bold, and it's a great day to be a bulldog. At this time, I'd like to introduce Hugo Morales, member of the CSU Board of Trustees. Hugo. Thank you, Dr. Castro. Um, bon dia. Good morning. Buenos dias. It's a pleasure to welcome you to Fresno State's 103rd commencement ceremony. This morning, we have, uh, we salute graduating seniors, graduate degree recipients, as well as faculty, families, and friends who supported the graduates throughout their academic careers. Today is a milestone, not only for our graduates, but also for Fresno State, Dr. Joseph Castro, as he presides over his first commencement as president of this distinguished institution, university. President Castro, the CSU Board of Trustees, thank you for your service and dedication to Fresno State, the community of the Central Valley, and the California State University system. On behalf of the trustees, our congratulations to you, President Castro, and congratulations to the class of 2014. I am now pleased to award this year's honorary doctorate degree Honorary doctorate degrees are awarded in recognition of excellence and extraordinary achievement in significant areas of human endeavor within which are embodied the objectives and ideals of the California State University. These degrees honor meritorious and outstanding service to the California State University collectively or to its campuses individually, to the state of California, to the United States, or to humanity at large. They recognize men and women whose lives and significant achievements should serve as examples 
to, uh, of and to the California State University's aspirations for its diverse student body. Peter G. Mijas, the son of Greek immigrants, learned early on about the value of hard work, perseverance, perseverance from his parents, who emphasized that all dreams could be achieved through education. He was the first in his family to graduate from college, and he became a mentor and friend to many first-generation students throughout his career he devoted to education. He valued the lessons learned from his parents as a youth, honest day's work, respect for others, and above all, integrity. He is remembered for his unwavering commitment to the students of Fresno County, his tireless advocacy for migrant children, expelled and incarcerated youth, and special needs students. Pete Mijas graduated from Fresno High School, attended Fresno City College, and transferred to Fresno State. He was active on campus activities, including student government and football, and he loved wrestling. <laughs> and he was a member of the 1961 Mercy Bowl team. He earned a bachelor's degree in several teaching and administrative credentials from Fresno State, a master's degree from UCLA, and his doctorate in education from the University of Southern California. Dr. Mijas often credited his teachers and coaches for inspiring his career, which began in Fresno and Clovis Unified School Districts. In 1987, Governor Dugmijian appointed Dr. Mijas as Chief Education Advisor. In 1990, he was elected Fresno County Superintendent of Schools. He was re-elected three times. I think that's more than any president in the United States in election <laughs> terms. Served through 2006. In 1991, President H.W. Bush appointed him to the Commission on Education Excellence for Hispanic Americans. In 1992-93, in he served on the State Board of Education. He was appointed to the California State University Board of Trustees in 2008. His final act of service for Fresno State was chairing the search committee for the eighth president of 2012-2013, uh, which, of course, we now have our president, Castro. A motivator and mentor, principled and unco uncompromising, in constant pursuit of helping young people realize and then exceed their potential, these attributes best uh, personify the man behind the titles. He was a lover of history and wrestling, of course, and, and master of quotes and could often be heard uttering the words, carpe diem, seize the day. To students, friends, and colleagues, he loved recounting the wisdom of great philosophers. In recognition of his achievements, his outstanding leadership, and enormous contributions locally, regionally, and nationally, the Board of Trustees of the California State University and California State University Fresno are proud to posthumously confer upon Peter G. Mijas, the honorary, honorary doctor of humane letters, accepting on his behalf is his wife, Demi Mijas. This was a little bit intimidating. Um, good morning, Dr. Castro, Trustee Morales, teachers, graduates, and friends. I'm honored and pleased to be here today to accept this award on behalf of my husband, Peter. I know that he would have been deeply honored to be recognized by this university, which meant a great deal to him. When I saw the distinguished list of past recipients, Sam McAbellis, Pete Peters, and Earl Smithcamp, just to mention a few, I knew that Peter would be humbled to be included amongst them. Peter's passion was education, education for everyone and the opportunities that it provides. If Peter were here today, he would encourage you to be the change you want to see in this world. As you've heard, my husband often concluded his speeches with a quote, I leave you with this final thought. It is not how many years you live, but how much life you have in those years. 
Thank you and congratulations, graduates. Thank you, Demi, and thank you, Trustee Morales. And if you notice, Trustee Morales inserted the word, word wrestling a couple of times. And in my last conversation with Dr. Mijas, uh, he brought up the topic of wrestling. So I, it's duly noted. <laughs> For our graduates, today marks the beginning of their careers. At the same time, this morning marks the ending of prime teaching careers of a number of faculty and administrators who are retiring and who are being honored by the conferral of emeritus status. I'd like to draw your attention to our video board where the individual names of emeriti faculty and staff will appear. In addition, emeriti faculty are honored at various academic ceremonies and at a luncheon, which is held each fall in their honor. Would those emeriti faculty and staff who have joined us please stand so we may recognize you and express our appreciation for your years of dedication and service to California State University, Fresno. Our very best wishes to each and every one of you. At this time, I ask that you join me in a brief moment of silence to remember the following faculty member who passed away this academic year, Wendell Hovey from the Civil and Geomatics Engineering Department. Thank you. Good morning. I am Andrew Hoff, Interim Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. It is an honor for me to introduce the recipients of this year's Provost Awards. Each has far surpassed the standard of excellence expected of all faculty, and I am pleased to ask them to stand. Christopher Lucy, Professor of Counselor Education and Rehabilitation, is being acknowledged for inspiring contributions in faculty service. William Scubin, Professor of History, is being acknowledged for exemplary graduate teaching and mentoring. Young Sheng Gao, who is on his way to China, Associate Professor of Physics, is being acknowledged for distinguished achievement in research, scholarship, and creative accomplishment. Arun Nambiar, Assistant Professor of Industrial Technology, is being acknowledged for outstanding use of technology in education. In addition to these recognitions, the Promising New Faculty Award recognizes faculty who have launched exceptionally promising careers and who have earned significant distinction during the first few years on campus. It gives me great pleasure to introduce seven promising new faculty to you and ask them to stand when their name is announced. 
Xiao Han Chen, Assistant Professor of Chemistry, Marianne Jackson, Assistant Professor of Psychology, Runda Gerar, Assistant Professor of English, Eric Lagori, Assistant Professor of Management, Faisal Pasha, Assistant Professor of Civil and Geomatics Engineering, Janelle Pitt, Assistant Professor of Counselor Education and Rehabilitation, and Francis Pomaville, Assistant Professor of Communicative Disorders and Deaf Studies. Please join me in congratulating our faculty award winners. While each of these areas is important to the central work of the university, none is as critical as teaching. And therefore, we have established award for overall excellence in teaching. I would like to ask this year's award recipient, Priscilla Chaff Stengel, Professor of Information Systems and Decision Sciences, to join me at the podium. Dr. Priscilla, yes. Dr. Priscilla Chaff Stengel, Professor of Information Systems and Decision Sciences, has been at Fresno State since 1984. Her research and teaching are deeply connected. A dedicated faculty member for 30 years, she has positively influenced the lives of countless students. She cares deeply about student learning inside and outside of the classroom. She designs class assignments to capture aspects of business practice that students may find themselves engaging in the workplace and help students work collaboratively to solve problems and apply the concepts in practical settings. Under her direction, the courses in decision sciences are one of the most effectively coordinated sets of multi-section courses in the Craig School of Business. She has actively sought and delivered on three separate curriculum innovation grants that support student learning. As a result of her work, the DS-71 course is recognized by the Chancellor's Office under its Proven Course Redesign Initiative. Dr. Chaff Stengel continues to support student learning across the decision science courses with an innovative drop-in tutoring program. Her student learning outcomes assessment program was instrumental in securing approval of external accreditors. She has visited and or consulted with more than 25 businesses in the Valley to bring current practices and applications into the classroom. I am pleased to present Professor Priscilla Chaff Stengel, the recipient of the Provost Award for Excellence for Teaching for 2014. Dr. Good morning. Good morning, graduates, faculty, family and friends of the university. This is a great day. I'd like to add my welcome to this significant day in your lives. I'm delighted to be able to ad briefly address uh, you this morning. I decided to share with you a story. A number of years ago, I was working with a colleague to produce a research proposal. As we designed the scope and focus of the proposal, we developed a list of things that each of us was responsible for. My side of the list had a lot of things that I had to do. His side of the list had a number of titles that he would have. As I looked at the list, I frowned and said, how come I get all the verbs and you get all the nouns? At the time, I thought something was wrong, that I would be doing all the work while someone else would reap the accolades. I now realize there was an important nugget in that moment. As I've worked these past 30 years at Fresno State, I've realized how important it is to focus on what you're doing, to focus on those verbs. Keeping attention on what you're doing allows thought to become deed, belief to become action, and can turn idealism 
into reality. An important moral comes with this story. If you truly focus on your performance, on what you're doing, on your verbs, if you hone your performance to achieve your goals, despite whatever life's challenges and problems seem to be, the promotions, the titles, the nouns in this life will come to you. As Buckminster Fuller pointed out, no matter how overwhelming life's challenges and problems seem to be, one person can make a difference. In fact, it is almost always because of one person that all the changes that matter in the world come about. So be that one person. It's the verbs in life that deliver the nouns. Congratulations on a great day. I add my good wishes to you and hope that you capture a few good nouns in your future. Thank you. Mr. President, 178 undergraduate students completed degree requirements with a Latin designation summa cum laude, noted on their diplomas. They have compiled a grade point average of 3.9 or better in all work taken at California State University, Fresno. The individuals I now will ask to stand have accomplished an even more remarkable feat of having compiled a perfect 4.0 or straight A average for all of their baccalaureate studies. Will the following students stand and remain standing as I read all of their names? Arub Shaheen Abdelhamid. David Aguilar. Jessica Lynn Arnold. Alexandra P. Azari. Raymond Abraham Bradney, Danielle Marie Carey, Gabriella Angel Angela Castillo, Elise W. Clark, Kayleen Ann Bedord, Corinne Denise Denhartog, Catherine Michelle Dorn, Ada Margarita Galleta, Brenda Garcia Lemus, Chelsea Lynn Gong, Brent Michael Hansen, Shelby Ann Jones, Alina Claire Maroney, Angelica A. Martinez, Mariah Rain Melman, Marces El Abel Mendoza, Jenna Michelle Mesero, Lawton Higgins Nichols, Hazel Alarcon Okiala, Ruzan Okuz I'm sorry, Okuzian, Sarah Elizabeth Palmer, Dina Pavic, Josephine Morgan Perez. Heather Marie Piercy, Rebecca Mary Pings, Larissa Nicole Rojas, Chaitan Singh Sandhu, Tyler Dodge Simmons, Kathleen Ann Sorensen, Miriam Soto, Catherine Alexandra Updike, Estra Esther Grace Verinder, Kimberly Gail Wheeler. Congratulations on your perfect 4.0 grade average. You may be seated. The Smith Camp Family Honors College serves as an umbrella for three types of honors programs on campus. University, which are the President's Scholars, school and college, and department. Initially funded through a generous gift from Earl and Muriel Smithkamp and their family, 
the Honors College accepted its 16th class this year. The President's Scholarship is the largest individual undergraduate scholarship awarded by the university and also provides two years of funding for two graduate students. All of the President's scholars serve as ambassadors of the university and have represented the university in many ways throughout their academic careers. They perform hundreds of hours of community service with a variety of organizations and throughout the greater Fresno area. The President's scholars are identified by a green sash worn over their robes. I would like to now recognize our Honors College President's Scholars. Please stand as I call your name. Arub Adelmahid. Elena Akavez. Miriam Ahmad. Jessica Arnold. Anne Badashi. Blaise Benavides. April Booth. Jessica Bursikian, Ryan Briscoe, Elizabeth Brown, Brian Chow, Jamie Cook, Bethany Correa, Corinne Denhartog, Coleman Dennis, Courtney DeWitt, Shelby Fredrickson, Andrew Gabriel, Chelsea Gong, Alyssa Gutnick, Deanna Halliday, Brent Hansen, Emily Henshi, Shelby Jones, Alexi Kimura, Zoe Kissling, Kayla Lawler, Herman Marquez, Alina Moroni, Jenna Misero, Lauren Moles, Parker Nachalgian, Lawton Nichols, Ruzan Orkusian, Maria Ortega, Bradley Parson, Corey Peterson, Ashley Payton, Rebecca Pings, Joseph Ray, Hannah Richardson, Elisa Shimada, Sierra Spatulski, James Steinseifer, Luke Vera, Daniel Ward, Denton Watkins, Megan Sweetslute. Congratulations. You may be seated. Mr. President, approximately 4,675 students have completed the requirements for the baccalaureate degree during the 2013-2014 academic year and have been approved by the faculty for graduation. As I invite each dean of each college and school to present their baccalaureate candidates and their undergraduate and graduate dean's medal recipients, I wish to ask that the family and friends of each candidate to, to participate in the recognition of these students by standing when the candidates are asked to stand. Thus, everyone involved in each of our graduate successes will be acknowledged. Will the dean of each of the schools and colleges now come forward to present the candidates? Good morning. I'm Charles Boyer, dean of the Jordan College of Agricultural Sciences and Technology. Will Herman Marquez Alcala and Min James Noon no Lee, please step forward. Herman, will you, you join me? Herman is graduating 
with the Fresno State 4.0 GPA. He is majoring in agricultural business with a minor in philosophy. He is a president, president scholar in the Schmidt Camp Family Honors College and also part of the College of Arts and Humanities Honors Program. He has been engaged in undergraduate research in agricultural business, working on su sustainable economics, the future of the produce industry, and in the Arts and Humanities Honors Program, working on an ethical analysis of the American immigration policy, a Kantian approach. He has held numerous leadership roles, including president of the Council of President Scholars for 2013-2014. He acquired significant industry experience, including an internship with the California Raisin Marketing Board. He was named the American Degree, the highest national membership award for National Future Farmers of America, and the U.S. President's Volunteer Service Award at the gold level. Among his impressive community services, includes organizing a carnival for parents and their families and patients at the Children's Hospital Central California. After four years of its leadership, this event is now an annual event for the hospital. Germ German has accepted a full-ride scholarship at Purdue University, one of the most prestigious universities in agricultural economics and agricultural business. This full ride scholarship will support him through his completion of the PhD degree. The Jordan College of Agricultural Sciences and Technology is proud to recognize Mr. Herman Marquez Alcala as the recipient of our Dean's Medalist for 2013-2014. James, will you jo please join me? James Lee completed his associate degree from Fresno College with a major in computer science, and then he entered Fresno State where he earned a mass, uh, bachelor's degree in industrial technology in May 2013. During his last semester as a, an undergraduate, he began taking graduate courses and found his passion for learning. He is graduating with his master's degree in just two semesters with a 4.0 GPA. James has been a volunteer for three years with the Future Farmers of America Field Days Technology Competition and has devoted numerous hours of volunteer service for the Cecil C. Hinton Multicultural Community Center. At this center, he was given the opportunity to develop a computer network for the administration. He directed a team for the installation and maintenance of a computer system that has 14 operating systems, which improved the system security. The director for the center noted that James is intelligent, has a high work ethic, positive attitude, demonstrated leadership, and diligence. While completing his degree, James served as the president of Epsilon Pi Tau, an honoris organization in the Department of Tech Industrial Technology. He invigorated a waning club and served as a role model for academic excellence in the department. The Jordan College of Agricultural Sciences and Technology is proud to recognize Mr. James Lee as the recipient of our Graduate Dean's Medalist for 2013-2014. Will the faculty of the Jordan College of Agricultural Sciences and Technology please stand? Will the candidates for the bachelor's degree in the Jordan College of Agricultural Sciences and Technology, as well as their family and friends, please stand? Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty of the Jordan College of Agricultural Sciences and Technology, I present our candidates to you. Congratulations.
You may be seated. I am Jose Diaz, the Associate Dean for the College of Arts and Humanities, standing in for our beloved Dean Vita Samian. Will Kevin Piercy and Bradley Rutledge please step forward? Kevin, can you please join me? Kevin Piercy, an Army veteran, will graduate Magna Cum Laude with a Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy. Kevin enrolled at Fresno State in 2004 and dropped out of school to join the U.S. Army, serving six years as a human intelligence collector. He then served 15 months in Iraq, where he earned the Army Commendation Medal. In 2010, And in 2010, he struggled with uh, post-traumatic stress disorder after the death of his brother in Afghanistan. After returning from Iraq, Kevin became involved with Iraq veterans against the war and filed as a cons conscientious objector. Returning to school, he felt he was given a second chance and raised his GPA to 3.89 and in his words, fell in love with philosophy. He is co-founder of Fresno State's chapter of Omega Delta Sigma, the National Veterans Fraternity and involved with Veterans of Foreign War, Wounded Warrior Project and Team Red, White and Blue. He was on Fresno State's mock trial team and is a member of Phi Alpha Delta. Kevin will attend UC Davis Law School with the goal of becoming a civil rights attorney. I present to you the undergraduate Dean's Medalist for the College of Arts and Humanities, Kevin Piercy. <laughs> Will Bradley Rutledge please step forward? Bradley Rutledge, with a 4.0 GPA, is our graduate medalist completing his Master of Arts in Music Education and Horn Performance. As a former Smith Camp Family Honors College Scholar, Bradley was selected for both the President's Graduate Fellowship and the, De and the Dean's Council Scholarship. He was a distinguished member of the Wood Wind Orchestra and the President's Quintet. Bradley is active in community service and works with Music for Love, an organization that focuses on providing music lessons to underprivileged children who may not have the opportunity otherwise. Bradley is planning to pursue a doctorate, music in, uh, doctorate degree in music and teach at the university level. I present to you the graduate dean's medalist for the College of Arts and Humanities, Bradley Rutledge. Will the faculty of the College of Arts and Humanities please stand? Will the candidates for the bachelor's degree in the College of Arts and Humanities, their families and friends, please stand? <laughs> Mr. President, on behalf of the College of Arts and Humanities, I present our candidates to you. You may be seated. Good morning. I'm Jody Hironaka Juto, Interim Dean of the College of Health and Human Services. Will Ms. Emily Bosch and Ms. Katrina Harris please step forward? Emily, would you please join me? 
Ms. Bosch completed her bachelor's degree in recreation administration in fall 2013. Emily received many honors while at Fresno State, and her commitment to the university and community service is very strong. She was elected by her peers into key leadership positions that resulted in contributions impacting the campus community while at the same time allowing her to hone critical skills in the field of commercial recreation and event planning, assuring that people have a high quality of life through positive, enjoyable, and enriching recreation and leisure experiences. As an ASI senator for the college, she saw it as a perfect opportunity to learn more about the range of disciplines in the college and to speak up on behalf of her colleagues. Her commitment to foster collegiality and communication that would ultimately lead to enhanced collaboration in the workforce is certainly valued. It is through such interprofessional and collaborative work that our graduates can best be served in our region. Ms. Bosch will make a significant contribution to the field of recreation administration, her community, and beyond. And I look forward to witnessing her influence and impact. I present to you the undergraduate dean's medalist for the College of Health and Human Services, Ms. Emily Bosch. Will Ms. Karina Harris please step forward? <laughs> Ms. Harris is graduating with a Master of Arts in Communicative Disorders, Speech Language Pathology. She maintained a 4.0 GPA throughout her graduate studies and received a number of honors and awards, including Golden Key International Honor Society, Toklon Women's Honor Society, a Woman of Distinction Award, a Jumpstart Spark Award, and awards from the Evening of Elegance Scholarship. Her thesis focused on speech therapy techniques in the deaf and hard of hearing population, targeting an area not previously studied and one that will greatly benefit the treatment of patients. She has an interest and passion for research, as well as a desire to teach in higher education. Ms. Harris was selected as the College of Health and Human Services Graduate Dean's Medalist because of her outstanding academic achievements, her service, her plans to serve the community as a speech and language pathologist, and with the utmost respect she has earned from the graduate faculty in the Department of Communicative Disorders and Deaf Studies. She is a prime example of our college's commitment to assure that Central California lives well. I present to you the Graduate Dean's Medalist for the College of Health and Human Services, Mrs. Karina Harris. Will the faculty of the College of Health and Human Services please stand? Will the candidates for the bachelor's degree in the College of Health and Human Services, their families, friends, please stand. <laughs> Mr. President. Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Health and Human Services, I present our candidates to you. You may be seated. Good morning. I am Bob Harper, Dean of the Craig School of Business. Will Brenda Garcia Lemus and Curtis Willie please step forward? Brenda, will you join me? Brenda Garcia is our first Dean's Medalist from the Economics Department, which joined the Craig School in August 2012. 
Brenda has finished in three years with a 4.0 GPA. She is also the first economics major to participate in the Craig School's honors program for which she is completing her honors thesis this semester concerning employer skills mismatch in Fresno. The Craig School of Business is clearly not the only one to recognize her qualities as she has been accepted into numerous prestigious graduate programs. In the fall, Brenda will pursue her master's degree at Duke University on a full tuition scholarship. The Fresno chapter of Phi Kappa Phi has nominated Brenda for a national fellowship, and I'm sure she'll do well at Duke. I present to you the undergraduate dean's medalist off of the Craig School of Business, Brenda Garcia Lemus. Curtis, would you please step forward? Curtis Willie is a spring 2014 graduate from the Executive Ag MBA program in the Craig School of Business where he maintained a four-point GPA and he's the first graduate Dean's Medalist from our executive program. This is quite a change from his initial foray into community college where by his own account his grades were less than stellar. With the encouragement of friends and family he stayed another semester where he discovered his passion for business. Curtis's future plans include a run for public office. He has already served as an elected representative in District 5 and was later unanimously selected as chairman of the Fresno County Republican Party. Curtis is currently employed by AgriValley Irrigation Inc., Inc. where he oversees projects that account for approximately 60% of the company's revenues. I present to you the graduate dean's medalist for the Craig School of Business, Curtis Willie. Will the faculty from the Craig School of Business please stand? Will the candidates for the bachelor's degree in the Craig School of Business, their family and friends, please stand and make some noise. Mr. President, Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty of the Craig School of Business, I present our candidates to you. You may be seated. I am Susan Elrod, Dean of the College of Science and Mathematics. Will Arub, Abdelhamid, and Nicole Jones please join me on stage? Please join me at the podium. Arub is a Smith Camp Family Honors College student with a major in natural science and a minor in mathematics. She has earned a perfect 4.0 GPA while excelling in the research laboratory of Dr. Alam Hassan. Her research is part of a paper that has been submitted to the Journal of Environmental Quality for publication. Her work on other projects has contributed to at least three other papers that are in preparation for submission to other peer-reviewed scientific journals. She has made seven research presentations, two of which were at national conferences of the prestigious American Geophysical Union. Arub has also been a campus leader, serving as president of the Natural Sciences Club since her freshman year. She has also worked on outreach events with the Physics Outreach Program in Fresno State's Chemistry Club and has a passion through these events uh, for teaching and has had, a many, has had a positive impact on many students that have attended these events. Aru plans to follow her dream to do research and teaching by obtaining a PhD in atmospheric chemistry and was accepted to four graduate programs having to make the hard choice to go to the University of Colorado at Boulder, which is one of the top schools in the nation to study atmospheric chemistry. Thank you. 
As she pursues her doctoral degree, I'm convinced she will continue to break barriers and make valuable contributions both to, to the discipline of atmospheric chemistry as well as to the educational success of future students with whom she comes into contact. Please join me in congratulating Ms. Arub Abdelhamid, the undergraduate Dean's Medalist for the College of Science and Math. Will Nicole Jones please step forward? Nicole graduated in December, summa cum laude with a perfect 4.0 GPA, in our Master of Arts program in psychology with a specialization in general and experimental psychology. Her thesis research, which is titled The Effect of Mexican Orientation and Anglo Orientation on Perception of Stressors, resulted in a first author paper submitted to the Hispanic Journal of Behavioral Sciences. In addition, she has spearheaded several other research projects working with two different professors. She has also presented her work at two national and one local research conferences. During her graduate work, she was the recipient of several prestigious fellowships and scholarships. She has been an active mentor to other students, teaching assistant, and instructor in the psychology department. And she won the Psychi Teaching Assistant of the Year Award in 2013. Nicole is also an active volunteer in the community, where she has served as ombudsman for the Fresno Madera Ombudsman Program since April 2012. In this role, she visits residential care facilities and advocates for residents to monitor and prevent abuse. She will be continuing her educational and research studies by pursuing a PhD degree in social psychology. Please join me in congratulating Ms. Nicole Jones, the Graduate Dean's Medalist for the College of Science and Math. Now will the faculty of the College of Science and Mathematics please stand. Will the candidates for the bachelor's degree in the College of Science and Mathematics please stand along with their families and friends. <laughs> Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Science and Mathematics, I present our candidates to you. Thank you. you may be seated. Good morning. I'm Paul Berry, Dean of the Crimin School of Education and Human Development. The Crimin School of Education and Human Development concentrates on graduate and postgraduate education in the preparation of students for service in teaching, leadership, and counseling careers. An undergraduate major is, however, awarded in liberal studies, an interdisciplinary major for students seeking a multiple subject teaching credential. Will Nareda Dominguez and Clifford D. Frazier please step forward? <laughs> Nareda Dominguez like many of our students, is a first-generation college student and was an English learner until Mrs. O'Dell, her second grade, exceptional second grade teacher, helped her overcome her language barrier. Now, Nareda has the gift of bilingualism. This made Nareda believe that every teacher should be prepared to address the English language needs of his or her students. Nareda has been an outstanding student in the Liberal Studies program, earning a 4.0 GPA over the last six semesters, and is engaged in a great deal of professional and volunteer tutoring and mentoring as she completed the program. Volunteer work has included involvement with the California Association of Bilingual Education, the Association of Mexican American Educators, and the Fresno Regional Dual Language Consortium. Nareda has worked for Dr. Teresa Huerta, coordinator of the Bilingual Masters and ELD program. To that end, she single-handedly designed brochures, flyers, banners, PowerPoint presentations 
for the program. She created a data system for program management and online monthly newsletter. Recently, Nareda created the directory for the Central Valley Dual Language Consortium. She also assists with the recruitment of teachers for the master's program, holding information sessions, easy for me to say, and attending various meetings to talk about the program. Aside from working for the Crimin School, Nareda is employed through the California Teaching Fellows Foundation as a morning tutor at Vinland Elementary, where she provides phonics, fluency, reading comprehension instructions for first through fourth grade students. She also works with five kindergarten students and assists a kindergarten teacher with preparation and instruction. Along with her paid work at Vidland, Nareda volunteers with Mrs. Shelley Dweek in her kindergarten classroom, helping as needed co-teaching lessons on occasion. Nareda said, a simple smile from a student always reminds me why I want to be a teacher. This is an outstanding student. She epitomizes Fresno State as a transformational university. We've helped this woman to become educated and accomplished. She, in turn, will teach in our community and transform hundreds of students, educating them and giving them their best hope for a bright future. Monday morning, she starts school again as a member of the teacher residency program in Fresno Unified, leading to a teaching credential and master's degree over the next two summers and semesters. Nareda recently received a very special award. She received the CSU Trustees Award for Outstanding Achievement. This is a great honor. Please congratulate Nareda as she is deserving of this very special award. <laughs> Clifford. Currently, Clifford's employed as the resident director of University Courtyard while, he's completing, while he completed his master's degree in counseling, focusing on pupil personnel services. He's obtained a 4.0 GPA in that program. His master's degree project was entitled Best Practices for Black, African American, African Heritage, Male Completion in the American Education System. And Clifford has lived that journey. As resident director, Clifford has had responsibility for the welfare of over 600 college students in the residential suite setting, providing crisis and day-to-day -day counseling along with supervising assistant resident directors, resident advisors, and other assistants. He's also worked in the Educational Opportunity Program, counseling students, and as a student ambassador for university outreach. His student ambassador role brought him into contact with over 100 students providing advice, meeting with parents, and meeting with high school counselors. Mr. Frazier's had a number of leadership positions during his graduate program. He's a trainer with the National Coalition Building Institute. He's a committee member of the Central RAP Conference, chair of the Public Relations for Chi Sigma Phi, the Fresno Counseling Society chapter. He was president of the Young People's Ministry at Fresno Baptist Church and vice chair of Black Students United. He's a member of the Golden Key Honor Society, Chi Sigma Pi Honor Society, and the NAACP. He serves on the Crimin School Equity Committee and works with the Coalition Building Institute. Dr. Susan Trace, Crimin's graduate coordinator, wrote, Besides all his noteworthy scholastic and community accomplishments, Mr. Frazier is a dedicated, insightful, and supportive person with a strong sense of social justice. He's a hard worker, a team player, and a highly effective professional. I agree with Susan's statement completely. Clifford was shaped by Fresno State from being an average student as an undergraduate to an outstanding professional. He had a difficult early childhood, but a loving grandmother and siblings helped him become the man he is today. I've seldom met a student to whom I so clearly predict great things. I'm very proud to have named Clifford D. Frazier III as the Crimin School's graduate medalist for 2014. Will the faculty of the Crimin School of Education and Human Development please stand? Will the candidates for the bachelor's degree in the Crimin School of Education and Human Development, their families and friends please stand?
Mr. President, I present to you the candidates from the Crimin School of Education and Human Development. You may be seated. Mr. President, I would also like to call attention to the fact that many candidates today have completed requirements for teaching credentials. Work done in a credential program and is in addition to work in major fields and provides students with the necessary preparation which they will apply in filling their various roles in the public schools. I congratulate them for their accomplishments. I am Luz Gonzalez, the Dean of the College of Social Sciences. Will Maria Ortega and Dalia Haitayan please step forward and join me on stage? Maria Ortega completed a BA degree in political science with a 4.0 GPA and a second major in sociology with a GPA of 3.9. Her academic accomplishments and extracurricular activities earned her a seat in the Smith Camp Honors College. Maria is a Sally Casanova and Ronald McNair scholar and a member of the Phi Kappa Phi, Phi Kappa Delta International Sociology Honor Society, and the Golden Key International Honor Society. She is the recipient of numerous scholarship awards, including the Jesse Rushing and the Bet Peter Awards. Maria arrived in the United States at a young age. Her hunger for an education and her commitment to social justice was the driving force behind her success. In high school, she joined California's for Justice and focused on remedy the school to prison pipeline. Her efforts to improve the educational conditions of minority youth prompted her to join the Mexican American Political Association, American Liberties Union of Northern California, and Mecha all organizations working to improve the social, economic, political conditions of historically underrepresented minority. Maria's goal is to earn a PhD in sociology and return to the Central Valley as a professor to inspire Valley students into pursuing an education. She has been accepted to Brown University on a full scholarship where she will pursue a PhD this fall 2014. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the undergraduate Dean's Medalist of the College of Social Sciences, Maria Ortega. Will Dahlia Haitayan please step forward? Dahlia Haitayan is an accomplished graduate student who completed a Master of Arts in History with a perfect 4.0 while at Fresno State. She also earned President and Dean's List distinctions. She was inducted into the Phi Alpha Theta History Honor Society. She is the recipient of numerous fellowships, including the Robert and Norma Craig Graduate Fellowship and the Bertha and John Garabian Scholarship. Dahlia comes highly recommended by her professors, Drs. Daniel Cady, Blaine Roberts, and Ethan Keitel. Dr. Roberts had this to say about Dahlia's research. She has undertaken the first ever examination of evangelical religion in Fresno, focusing specifically on the move of evangelical churches to Fresno suburbs, a fascinating topic that brings together issues of conservatism, religion, race, taxation, and suburbanization that are considerably expanse that, excuse me, 
considerably expands how we understand the interplay of these forces in American history. Simply put, no scholar has ever studied the Central Valley's largest city through the lens of these forces. It was no surprise to us that Dahlia would be accepted this fall into the PhD program in history at Boston University. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Graduate Dean's Medalist for the College of Social Science, Dahlia Haitayan. Will the faculty of the College of Social Sciences please stand? Will the candidates of the bachelor's degree in the College of Social Sciences, their families and friends, please stand? Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Social Sciences, I present to you our candidates. Thank you. You may be seated. I'm Ram Nuna, Dean of the Lyles College of Engineering. Will Catherine Updike and Anthony Simo please step forward? Catherine Updike graduated with a BS degree in electrical engineering with a perfect 4.0 GPA. Catherine was in our honors program in the Lyles College of Engineering and a recipient of our highly selective four-year husband Boeing scholarship. As a student, Catherine worked on many research projects in the areas of optics and holography. Working with her advisor, Dr. Gregory Crean, she created an optical hologram, the first of its kind, created by an undergraduate student here at Fresno State. In the complex world of optical holography, this is no small feat. Catherine completed internships at pg and worked as a grader, and as a laboratory assistant in the Lyles College of Engineering. Catherine was very involved in student clubs and organizations and was very active in the Vintage Days organization. School pride was very important to her. She is very, she is very happy to say that Fresno State gave me a new identity as a person. Catherine is currently a telecommunications engineer at the Diablo Valley Nuclear Power Plant in Avila Beach, California, and looks forward to a strong career ahead. Mr. President, I'm pleased to present to you the undergraduate dean's medalist for the Lyles College of Engineering, Catherine Updike. Anthony? Anthony Simo graduated with a master's degree in civil engineering with a perfect 4.0 GPA. He's currently an assistant engineer for the Clovis area firm Blade Church and Flynn, consulting engineers working on various public utility, water resources, and development projects. As a graduate student, Anthony was active in professional society student chapters and also served as a lab instructor and teaching assistant. He currently teaches fluid mechanics in our civil engineering program. Anthony's research on particle mobilization of porous media under various permeating fluids has been accepted for presentation at the 2014 American Society for Civil Engineers Geo Congress Convention, Atlanta, Georgia. Anthony has been an active volunteer and has served in the San Joaquin River Parkway and Conservancy Trust, Fresno Parks, and Valley Animal Shelter. With his strong credentials in civil engineering, Anthony looks forward to a strong career ahead. Mr. President, I'm pleased to present to you the Graduate Dean's Medalist for the Lyles College of Engineering, Anthony Simo. <laughs> Will the faculty of the Lyles College of Engineering please stand? Will the candidates for the bachelor's degree in the Lyles College of Engineering, their families and friends, please stand? Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty of the Lyles College of Engineering, I present our candidates to you. Thank you. You may be seated. Good morning. 
I'm, I'm Carolyn Kuhn, Interim Vice President for Student Affairs and Dean of Students. Will Sean Kiernan and Jose Arizola please come forward? Will my colleagues from the Division of Student Affairs please stand? Sean Kiernan came to Fresno State with the desire to serve his campus and community in the highest capacity possible. And he has far exceeded what he could have imagined four years ago when he arrived on campus. Sean is a student advocate, serving as Associated Students Incorporated Senator for Residential Affairs and the Vice President for External Affairs. Some of his accomplishments include creating a campaign to reduce bike theft, helping to manage a 13,000 student march in Sacramento, and bringing Fresno State's first voter polling location to campus. He has been honored with the California State Student Association Student Advocate of the Year Award. In February, Mr. Kiernan was chosen to join Fresno State President Joseph Castro and CSU Chancellor Timothy White to represent Fresno State and the CSU to members of Congress regarding critical decisions impacting our university. Sean also has excelled in the classroom, and he is expected to graduate with a 3.97 grade point average. He has earned a spot on the president's list several, seven semesters and the dean's list eight semesters. As a political science major with a minor in philosophy and a certificate in legal studies, Sean plans to use his education at Fresno State as a foundation for a career in law and politics. Sean has also been heavily involved in student advocacy issues and has made a difference to the CSU system and to our university. It is a pleasure and an honor to present the undergraduate dean's medalist for the Division of Student Affairs, Sean Kiernan. Jose Arizola is graduating with a master's degree in public health with an emphasis on health promotion. As an undergraduate at Fresno State, Jose earned a bachelor's degree in health science in, in Spanish. Throughout his enrollment at Fresno State, both as an undergraduate and graduate student, he has had an array of experiences in the health field and has volunteered for many organizations, including the American Cancer Society, CASA, Gamma Zelta Alpha Fraternity, and the Education and Leadership Foundation. Due to his experience and involvement, he was hired to work with Madeira County as a health education specialist with CA4 Health, strategic lead prior to the completion of his master's degree. Jose was a great student in the College Assistant Migrant Program, known as CAMP, and, so, and continues to serve as a role model and mentor to the current students. His dedication and commitment to helping others see the value of education and giving back to the community are much a part of his core. Jose proudly represents Fresno State in being a great leader in our campus and community, and his time at Fresno State has truly met all of Fresno State's commitment to discovery through his passion for his career choice diversity with taking care of many opportunities and distinction in his many accomplishments. It is a pleasure and an honor to present the Graduate Dean's Medalist for the Division of Student Affairs, Mr. Jose Arizola. You may be seated. At this time, I wish to mention a group of students who are also part of our ceremony this morning. Special majors are des designed by individual students to meet specific career goals not offered by one department. Today, we have 21 students who are graduating with special majors in the following areas. Gerontology, Community Benefit Administration and Victim Services, Nonprofit Administration, Art History, Business and Museum Studies, 
administration and communication in governmental and non-governmental organizations, general studies, gerontology and social work, liberal arts, cognitive science, administration for community benefit and victim service organizations, meteorology, community benefit and youth services administration, crime scene investigative studies, pre-physical therapy, community benefit administration, gerontology management, and interactive intermedia. Will the candidates for the bachelor's degree with special majors, their families and friends, please stand. <laughs> Mr. President, I present our candidates to you. You may be seated. Now, will all the baccalaureate degree candidates please stand to receive their degree? Will the families and friends of the baccalaureate degree candidates please rise as well? All baccalaureate, all baccalaureate. Mr. President, the candidates for baccalaureate degrees as recommended by the faculty of their colleges and schools have been presented by their academic deans. I ask that you now confer the appropriate degrees on those who have met all requirements for graduation. Upon the recommendation of the faculties, of the deans, of the Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, and by the authority vested in me by the Chancellor and the Board of Trustees of the California State University Fresno, I take great pleasure in conferring the appropriate baccalaureate degree upon all candidates listed in the official records for these exercises and of admitting you to all the rights and privileges pertaining there too. You may be seated. Sandra Witte, Dean of the Division of Graduate Studies. Graduate degrees signify the completion of a period of study, advanced study, and research. The candidates are recommended by their departments and schools and have met the requirements of the Division of Graduate Studies and the trustees of the California State University. Although all are not present today, 890 students have completed graduate degrees this year. Will the candidates for the master's degree please rise? Okay. Mr. President, it is my privilege to present to you the candidates for the degrees of Master of Arts, Master of Biotechnology, Master of Business Administration, Master of Fine Arts, Master of Public Administration, Master of Public Health, Master of Physical Therapy, Master of Science, Master of Social Work, and the Educational Specialist. These candidates received their hoods during their college and school ceremonies held yesterday. I now ask that you confer upon them the degree for which they have qualified. Upon the recommendation of the graduate faculties, the Dean of the Division of Graduate Studies, and the Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, and on the authority vested in me 
by the Chancellor and the Board of Trustees of the California State University, I hereby confer upon you the graduate degree appropriate to your field of learning and with the greatest pleasure admit you to all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. The Silver University Graduate Medal is the highest honor given to a graduating master's, sorry about that, yes, please. <laughs> is the highest honor given to a graduating master's student of the university in recognition of extraordinary scholarship, leadership, and service during the student's graduate career. Each of the dean's graduate medal recipients is eligible for receipt of this award. You have been introduced to each of the Dean's Graduate Medal recipients. From among these nine graduate students, one has been selected to receive the University Graduate Medal. This year's University Graduate Medal recipient is Dahlia Haitayan. Faculty in the Department of History describe Dahlia as the best student in their graduate program and are impressed with her work ethic, her intellect, and her commitment to the field of history. Her area of research on Fresno churches has resulted in her impressive command of Christian theology, local politics, regional history, and demography. History professor Dr. Daniel Cady says, quote, she devoured most of the subject's major works and could discuss the material in a manner more befitting a colleague than a student. Dahlia, a native of Fresno, says that her research has given her a new appreciation for her hometown and an added awareness for its historical significance. She is expected to continue her research on this fascinating topic by expanding it to other areas of the country, starting in Boston. So, let's see. Yep. Make sure I give you the right one here. Today, we will be recognizing graduates from three doctoral programs, the doctoral program in educational leadership, the joint doctorate in physical therapy, and the doctor of nursing practice program. We are celebrating over 21 years of offering doctoral level work for our students at Fresno State. Will the educational leadership, doctoral faculty, and students prepare for the awarding of the doctoral degrees? Mr. President, this is our fifth year in hooding and awarding doctoral degrees to students from our independent doctoral program in educational leadership. I ask Trustee Morales and our Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Hoff, to join you as we present our educational leadership doctoral candidates.
Today we recognize 34 graduates. The doctoral candidates will be hooded by their dissertation chair and then congratulated by Dr. Castro, Trustee Morales, and Provost Hoff. Dr. Sharon Brown Welty will start the hooding. Daniel Ayala. Lisa Hansen. Gabriel Ramirez. Renee Rosas. Gretchen Skritoski. Troy Tennant, Jr. Jeff Vandernor. The hooding will continue with Dr. Susan Trace. Mary Estelle Anderson. Nan Barker. <laughs> Stephanie Michelle Droker. <laughs> Susanna Ramirez. <laughs> Jose Mari Delone Reyes. The hooding will continue with Dr. Diane Oliver, Donna Walters Cooper, the hooding will continue with Dr. Jason Emicus, Carl Dean McGee, the hooding will continue with Dr. Donald Wise. Blanca Guadalupe Cavazos. Anna Dawn Chamberlain. Paul Lopez. Becky McQuarrie. Andrew James Schroer. Hannah Suleiman. The hooding will continue with Dr. Linda Hauser. Julie Ann Bosch. Lori Grace. The hooding will continue with Dr. Deborah Harris. Mary Ellen Kors. The hooding will continue with Dr. Kenneth Magdaleno. Lorena A. Brubaker. Jeremy Dean Caldwell. The hooding will continue with Dr. Colleen Torgerson. Timothy Allison. Yeah. Carrie Loti. Yeah.
The hearing will continue with Dr. Juan Carlos Gonzalez. Sophia Rizzo. The hooding will continue with Dr. James Marshall. James G. Thurnberg. Okay. Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty at this university, it is indeed a pleasure to present to you the candidates for the Doctor of Education degree. Thank you. Thank you. Will the nursing <laughs> Will the nursing practice doctoral students, faculty and students prepare for the awarding of the hooding? Yeah. Mr. President, this is the first year that we have awarded doctoral degrees for the nursing practice program at California State University Fresno. The candidates received their pins designed for the program at ceremonies last week and will be hooded by their faculty today by their dissertation chairs. Today we recognize 31 students in this program. To begin the hooding will be Dr. Sylvia Miller, Mary Jimenez Minuth, Sandra Lohner. Christopher Patty. Stacy Wise. Debbie J. Tuttle. Thank you. The hooding will continue with Dr. Nindidi Griffin. Helen Hubbard. Okay. The hooding will continue with Dr. Lori Rodriguez. Maxine Labash Rand. Suzette Marie Eurcrates. Corin Van Curren Parent. Diane Creighton. Lisa Walker Vischer. Cindy Meckes. Laura Brunetto. Mercy Ubibajor.
Susan Herman. Prabha Kumsen. The hooding will continue with Dr. Terea Gianetta. Diana Michelle Easley Cormier. Lisa Marie Radici. The hooding will continue with Dr. Danetta Dutra. Stacy Avila Manning. Patricia Inez McQueen. Andrea Lee Riggins. Margie Jensen. Denise Johnson Dawkins. Janice Sanders. Lieutenant Commander, United States Navy, Sean Skinner. The pudding will continue with Dr. Harsha Davgavi. Close. Will the candidate physical therapy doctoral faculty and students please prepare for the awarding of the doctoral degrees? Mr. President, this is the seventh year that we have awarded doctoral degrees for the physical therapy program at California State University, Fresno. This is a joint degree program with the University of California, San Francisco. The candidates received medallions designed for their program at ceremonies yesterday and will be hooded today by their dissertation chairs. Today we recognize five students from that program. Ashley Janelle Alioto. <laughs> Barbara Wing Chan. Brittany Ann Person. The hooding will continue with Dr. Marsha Thompson. Hati J. L. Khan. The 
Whitting will continue with Dr. Peggy Trueblood. Kimberly Volz. Will all the doctoral candidates please stand now? Mr. President, I now ask that you confer upon all doctoral candidates the degree for which they qualify. Upon the recommendation of the Faculty for the Doctoral Program in Educational Leadership, the Faculty for the California State University Northern Consortium Doctor of Nursing Practice Program, and the Faculty of the Joint Doctoral Program in Physical Therapy, California State University, Fresno, and University of California, San Francisco, and on the authority vested in me by the chancellors, by the chancellor and trustees of the California State University, and the president and regents of the University of California, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Education, Doctor of Physical Therapy, and Doctor of Nursing Practice, and with the greatest pleasure, admit you to all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Good afternoon. I am Clyde Ford, a proud two-time graduate of Fresno State. As the president of the Fresno State Alumni Association, I have the very distinct honor to be the first person to greet you as official alumni of this great institution. As you move to a new passage in your life, you will always remember your experiences here at Fresno State. The education you've received here has prepared you for exciting opportunities and unknown adventures. As alumni, you are charged with the task of showing your bulldog pride. By doing this, you promote your alma mater and ensure the value of your Fresno State degree. I invite you to give back give back of your time, and come back to serve on a committee, volunteer, and give your dollars, and help promote a spirit of philanthropy. At the Fresno State Alumni Association, we want to tell the world how great you all are. So we ask that you stay connected with us. We will always be your official connection back to campus. Your Alumni Association is your connection for life. You know, Bulldogs always expect to win. The Fresno State Alumni Association's Board of Directors, members, staff, and friends offer sincere congratulations to Fresno State's 103rd graduating class, the class of 2014. On behalf of more than 200,000 alumni worldwide, I welcome you as a member of the Fresno State Alumni Association and congratulate each of you on your achievements. You are all proud Bulldogs for life. Thank you, Clyde. As you have seen, we seek to recognize excellence in a number of ways at California State University Fresno. You have been introduced to the winners of the Dean's Medal from the eight undergraduate colleges and schools. 
and the medalist from the Division of Student Affairs. The Dean's Medal recognizes academic and leadership qualities, as well as contributions to the life of the university and the community at large. From among the nine Dean's Medal winners throughout the university, one person has been selected by a committee to receive the President's Medal. This selection is both a difficult and rewarding task and represents a truly significant achievement because the competition is so keen. I am very pleased to announce the winner of the President's Medal for 2014 is Herman Alberto Marquez Alcala. You've heard from Dean Boyer about Herman's academic achievements and his leadership and commitment to community service. What you haven't heard is that Herman came to the United States as an undocumented immigrant who overcame huge language barriers and economic challenges. overcame huge economic barriers and economic challenges to become a sterling example of scholarship, civic duty, and striving for achievement. He exemplifies all that is most noble and inspiring about a Fresno State education. He proves yet again how transformative this university can be in the lives of young adults seeking the opportunity to be all they aspire to be. I was deeply touched by reading Herman's personal narrative in which he states, quote, the excitement I feel for my future academic journey is only amplified when I remember the sacrifices my parents endured so that I could have access to opportunities denied to them. They taught me that the intrinsic value of a human being is not determined by his, his or her financial worth, but rather by the level of dedication work ethic, and gratitude a person possesses. I will never forget my immigrant roots. In fact, I am grateful for the difficulties I faced. Those experiences led me to maturity and gave me a refuge and hope in a future made better through education." Unquote. Herman, your words resonated deeply as I've traveled a similar path to higher education. Congratulations, Herman. The world is your future. I think. Uh, Thank you all so much. This means an incredible amount, and I honestly didn't think that I would be up here right now. First and foremost, thank you to my family. <clears throat> Sitting up there. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me. I'm going to say a few words in Spanish to them because they speak Spanish. <laughs> Querida familia, muchísimas gracias por todo lo que han hecho. No podría estar aquí en este momento sin ustedes. Muchísimas gracias por <clears throat> hacer todo lo que hacen por nosotros y <laughs> y gracias por estar aquí. <clears throat> <laughs> Again, I just want to say thank you to everybody out here. Thank you to all of you graduates for making this such a great event. Teachers, professors, Dr. Chapman, everybody in the Ag Business Department, everybody in the Philosophy Department for making my experience the best that it could have possibly been. And every other teacher that I've had that's inspired me to, to take the higher road of education and, and pursue a PhD. I hope to one day also be a professor as you are today. Thank you all again and, and bless you all.
So I have two requests right now. We're almost done. But one is, if you haven't done so, move your tassel over to the left. Yeah. The, the second request is a little bit fun. In order to stay connected to Fresno State and to me, to the Alumni Association, I encourage you to follow us on Twitter. Send your pictures to us. Tell us about what you're doing. And uh, to give a shout out to President Menchaca, follow him too. As graduates, you are now representatives of California State University, Fresno. Woo. While you were with us, you expanded your knowledge, developed your ideas, and engaged in meaningful discourse with your professors and peers. Regardless of how you began your education here, as a freshman right out of high school, as a transfer student with part of your college coursework already completed, as a new graduate student, or as a mature adult returning to school after years spent holding down a job and supporting a family, you have gained from sharing these last few years with us, and we have benefited from your presence. As we send you forth today, we ask you that you become responsible alumni, conduct yourselves honorably, maintain high ethical standards, and give back a measure of good to the community that has supported you. As a citizen, graduate, and now alumni of the California State University, I encourage all of you to continue to support your university and its mission you will soon learn the real benefits of earning a degree from the California State University as you go out into the work workforce. Please continue to support the CSU by helping those in need and let them know how to get to college. Show them the road ahead and how earning a college degree can be the most important step toward a brighter future. Finally, as a graduate of Fresno State, Please be an ambassador for the California State University system. Let your friends, colleagues, legislators, and community know how important the CSU has been to you and how they can join you in keeping the doors of opportunity open for others. Your continued commitment will help us prepare the way for the generations of students coming along behind you and the assurance that the value of your degree continues to grow. My best wishes to all of you. Please stand for the singing of the alma mater. After the alma mater, may I ask the audience to Please be seated and remain in your seats until the President's party and the faculty have, have, exi have exited the arena. After the faculty have exited, we ask that all guests sitting in the lower levels exit up the stairs. Graduates will then exit the arena by going up the stairs and outside the arena to meet their guests. Leading us in the singing of the alma mater, are Ed Olivares and Andrew Hernandez, graduating students in music, accompanied by string quartet members Amy Dockham, Aaron Schofield, Derek Stewart, and Leanna Stewart.